Hi everybody, it's Jilly, Jilly B living her life her way. I hope you're all safe, well and happy. Um, I've come on today onto YouTube to show you my incoming mail um, from postcrossing.com officials. I've got lots of World Postcard Day postcards. I've just arrived today um, and some friend mail and swaps. So, and I've got one postcard somewhere that is my all time favorite. And I can't wait to share that one with you. But first, I'll get through what's uh, arrived. So this postcard uh, is from China and it was sent on the 13th of September and it has just arrived today. So I love this image. I love anything stationary and artsy. I love to take photographs. So it's like me in an image. So I really, I really, really like it. There is the stamp. A little sailing ship isn't that a lovely stamp and here are more stamps and i love that they've all been cancelled really really nice and this person uh, lives in china they love animals they have a dog called qq and a cat called dd best wishes so that is my first one to share with you the second one comes from india now i don't get many postcards from india so I was really happy to receive this this one here and I absolutely love this. I love anything like this. So this was really well appreciated and received. There is the stamp, which is really nice. And this person is called Then Mozzi, I think. And they the, this is a sculpture art, which I know. So that's brilliant. So that's great. Thank you so much. The next one is from Croatia and I didn't quite um, understand the ID, the HR. I'm thinking HR. So I had to write it down on there so I would remember where it was from. But it's this lovely image of um, a church or cathedral. Isn't that just stunning? I absolutely love images like this. Look at that blue sky. It makes me want to go back on holiday. And this person is called... Um, did you I think I, I'm not sure uh, yeah so this is what they sent me and here are all the beautiful stamps from Croatia I felt really lucky to get this one because I don't get many cards from Croatia the next one is a World Postcard Day meetup postcard and it is from Germany so there is the card fourth World, World Postcard Day Sending you a postal hubs with everything to do with postal and animals. It's really nice um, postcard. This is from Paper Sisters and they do produce wonderful postcards. And there are the stamps. And then on the on the back is all these signatures and the date it was sent. So it's really pleased to get a happy postcard day. Postcard. The next one comes from America. And it's a Florida, USA, Disney uh, postcard. And it's slightly bigger than my other postcards I've received. I absolutely love it. It's lovely. There are the stamps. And this person is called Patty. And they live near Michigan. And they've just rec returned from their first trip to the UK. And they went to Edinburgh, Newcastle, Um croft that's not far from me that is literally 10 minutes away from my house and it was a very long trip but they absolutely loved it i think that says croft hmm. be nice if they did that's where the story of alice in wonderland was uh made here is the next one and it is a hello fall it's an autumn postcard with a little pumpkin isn't that lovely i love the colors i love this time of year it's my favorite time of the year this is from Germany. Those are the lovely stamps. And this is a World Postcard Day postcard as well. And they say, today is World Postcard Day. I drew your address. I'm happy to be able to send you this card to go with it. This year is the second time I've taken part in the campaign. I hope that many of the cards I sent today will reach their destination soon. Isn't that lovely? What a lovely message. The next one is from 
India, I think. I D H U. Where's it from? Oh, Hungary. Sorry, I couldn't quite make it out. And look at this. Isn't this like? It looks like a market where, you, where there's food, obviously. I'm not sure what that is. It might be a bowl. Mm, not sure. And some food going in there. He's got a Roman hat on. It's like reenacting Roman times, I suppose. Not my cup of tea to eat something like that. But I like bread and things that and pizzas that are being done in an oven. So I'll be happy with that. Those are the stamps. And it says... Greetings from Hungary. And then it says, this postcard shows um, the centre of the country in which I live. Can't read that. Uh, and it's a carnival. There are food stalls and shops and performances. Oh, wow. And gladiators, of course. <laughs> so that's what that's all about. The next one is from Taiwan. And here it is. And it's like a little... Lots of grass, and then in the bottom, peekaboo, yeah, a little kitten watching me. That's a lovely image with a lovely stamp on the back. And this person is called Fan Jie. Greetings from uh, Taiwan. My name is Fan Jie, and I'm a junior high school teacher. I like taking photos and travelling. The Chinese word on the front of this postcard means rice in English. So, and in... Uh, the pronunci pronunciation of it in Mandarin is like Mai, which people in Taiwan sometimes call cats Mai Mi. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. Look at the little cat. The next one is a World Postcard Day and it's from America. And they, these got here super fast, these World Postcard Day ones. Those are the stamps. Really nice. And it says, Happy World's Postcard Day all the way from New England. I like the cancellation there. Oh, it's a sticker, actually. Yeah. And there's the image. Isn't that lovely? Happy World's Postcard Day 2023. The next one is not a World Postcard Day. This is a Towshington card. And it is absolutely beautiful and Anybody who likes their fairy tales, Hans Christian Andersen and all those type of stories, you'll know who this is. This is Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were abandoned in a forest and Hansel decided to drop breadcrumbs so that uh, they would find their way back. But all the little birds in the, in the forest ate them and they come across this little house. But little did they know there was a witch in there. Can you see the oven? And she tried to cook the little boy. But... It didn't end very well for the witch. Lovely image. It's all sparkles and shiny. Really nice. From Germany. Those are the stamps. And uh, it says, Greetings from uh, Germany. Today is national holiday. We celebrate the reunion of the West and the East Germany back in 1990. I've been to York for my student exchange when I was a kid. Really nice place it is york is absolutely beautiful if ever you can get to go to york please do we'll love it the next one is a world postcard day postcard and it is uh llamas and a chameleon you might understand that in a minute because it's from germany there is the stamp and he says dear jilly happy world postcard day i'm sure you recognize this 80s song i think the 80s were the best decade Best concert ever is got Farm Aid, 1985. I'm sure he means Live Aid. Uh, go look at the artists online. It was over 12 hours and I was there the whole time. Oh, wow, I will have a look. Because what I was thinking of was Band Aid. And I remember um, watching that. Uh, yeah, so Come a Chameleon, isn't it? I think, I don't know. And my all-time favourite from the postcarding side is this amazing, amazing um a postcard and it was for will postcast it postcard day there is the stamp this is just blew me away this and this is a handmade postcard and it's all fabric on some cards and it's mushrooms and you can see all the stitches it's like three stitches on a um a sewing machine so you just like you don't put the foot down you lift it up and you can get all these wigglies and then obviously a different stitch around the edge. Isn't that amazing? 
And this person says, hello, Julie, today is World Postcast Day and I thought I would take time to make a, um, a self-made one for you. It really getting autumn now uh, and I thought the mushrooms will go. I also baked some pumpkin bread this morning, sending you peace, health and love. Christina, that is my all time favourite postcard to date because somebody, some people don't like homemade cards. I love them because somebody sat down and took their time and effort into making something personal for myself. This person has made a postcard out of fabric and card and then added the mushrooms on top with the little border here. What is not to like? It's just amazing and I appreciate it so much. So thank you very much. I love it. So that's all my official postcards. And now I'm going to go on to friend swaps. And I have quite a few. <laughs> uh, the first one is from Jessie. And Jessie made this postcard herself and she did a tutorial on uh, YouTube. Uh, so you can check out her channel and she'll show you how she made it. I remember watching this on the sofa with a cup of tea uh, with a dog on my feet watching this. Isn't it lovely? I love the robin on the top. Uh, and she just says um, she wishes that many more postcards come my way and happy World Postcard Day. And she's added lots of pretty stamps and bees, because I love bees and flowers at the bottom. So there's that one. Then this one came from, who is this? I wonder if I know. Uh, Charney, great stamp ad. I'm going to have to reread this one, I think. Anyhow, here it is. It's World Postcard Day, the 1st of October, 2023 with the pea stove and the postcard and going into earth there. So this comes from New, Ze New, um, New Zealand, which really shocked me because New Zealand's a long way and it's still got here in relative good time. And she says, thank you for your wonderful videos on YouTube. I enjoy them very much. Here in New Zealand, we are in the spring and the flowers are abundant and the honeybees are very active. Isn't that lovely? So that's a lovely one, all the way from New Zealand. The next one is from Bex. I haven't heard from Bex for some time. I know she's been very busy with family and things like that. So she hasn't been around as much, but I know she's around. So hello to Bex. She sent me a blue cat uh, postcard and all the cats are watching the ice skate on the telly. Isn't that lovely? And she always decorates so beautifully. There's a King Charles first class stamp. And uh, she sent me a little message. Absolutely lovely. Thank you, Bex. The next one is from Michelle. And Michelle isn't around as much because she's just got a lot of work commitments and other things and hobbies and all sorts and uh, family to look after. So she is around, but she's not as active as once before, but she will get back into it. So, so this one is a a post box here and this is a post box topper now in the uk there's a craze for knitting or crocheting um art to go on top of a post box and these are placed on post boxes all over the uk i have shared some uh, before but that's lovely and it's postman pat there who is a great character a children's character she's added this super cool harry potter um is it Maybe not. No, it isn't. <laughs> I thought it was Harry Potter. Oh, I've got Harry Potter in the brain. And this, it says the post box topper can be seen in Twicket, uh, in Picket 20 and over UK. It says post box toppers are commonplace in the UK and can be solely decorative or in tribute or a, a com I can't speak. Anyway, you got the drift. So there we go. So thank you so much, Michelle. You can tell I've been at work all day. I'm absolutely shattered. The next postcard is from the lovely Rob, and he has a channel, Rob That Dad Guy, and it is his own World Postcard Day postcard with Polo, the, the, his pet hedgehog there, in the garden. He's put the sweetest post, postage stamp on. And he says, I hope you had a fabulous um, vacation, me, and, and you can celebrate um, World Postcard Day too. Yes, and all the unicorns on the bottom because he's part of the unicorn gang and the little polo hedgehog sticker. 
The next one is from the lovely Jenny. And she says, hello, Julie. Looks like you had a beautiful vacation. Happy World Post Day. I had the best. It was brilliant. I've called you Jenny and it's Terry. Sorry, Terry, I apologise. It's been a long day. So Terry took this photograph some time ago and decided it would make the perfect World Postcard Day. And I think it's beautiful. She's in Canada, by the way, and she has a channel too, uh, which I will link below. So that's really nice. And all of the stamps, look at all the stamps. That Canada one is amazing. And the, yep, brilliant. The next one is from the lovely Eduardo. And he had um, a weekend away with his wife. There are the stamps, absolutely fabulous stamps. And he just says, he sent this on the 23rd of September. It took a long time to get here considering the World Postcard Day ones got here quicker. Julie, dear Julie, I took a weekend trip to Philly with my wife. I have friends there. It is about a seven hour drive there. Wow. Um, I got the chance to see where the USA constitution was signed, Hope Hall as well, Eduardo. Isn't that amazing? He got to see where this was signed. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Eduardo. I love a bit of history as well. It's a bit blurry, isn't it? Put it there. The next one is from the lovely Rene. And I absolutely love these cups. <laughs> this reminds me of me and my partner. I was thinking, oh, she's daft as a bush. Absolutely love this, Rene. It really did make me smile. She has some Happy World Postcard uh, washi tape there. And the forever stamp and she just says i love this silly card so much i hope that it brings you a smile it certainly did it did today is world postcard day i am in full postcard writing mode i am also doing that not so much fun laundry chore mm. laundry i've got to put some on shortly as well <laughs> so that's great isn't that fun it, silly and like oh as patient as a saint and then the last one I got was from um, the lovely Renee. Um, her address was there. I just took it off there. Forever stamp. And inside, let's see what was inside. Um, she sent me something really special. And she just said, I won't read it all because it's a personal message. But she said, hello, dearest Julie. I wanted to be sure to get these amazing Unicorn Gang gifts off to you. Jen is so incredibly talented and I hope that she will start creating postcards as so many have suggested. And she just goes to say, I hope I enjoyed my vacation. I'm um, getting back into the swing of everyday life. Certainly am. And Renee would have made this card. Isn't it lovely? It's, um, it's really nice and uh, tactile. I love that. Thank you, Renee. But then she wasn't done there. She sent me some of these. If you watch Renee's channel, I will link below. She has a friend who made these. Aren't they beautiful? She should make them into postcards. I agree. So lovely and it's quite shiny. Like the silver dots on. Really pretty. And then Unicorn Gang. Yay. <laughs> uh, Dolly Gosh. 2023. Isn't that lovely? Look at the little hands on the hips there. That's so cool. Absolutely love those. So thank you so much, Renee. And she sent me some little bee stickers as well. I love them. I'll be able to use them when I write some cats. <coughs> Excuse me, shortly. So you already know which was my favourite postcard. It was the hand sewn, uh, the sewn postcard, which I can't find now. Where is it? I mean, they're all brilliant, don't get me wrong, I appreciate every single one, but when you get something that just takes your breath away, it just it's just amazing, isn't it? And to think somebody's made that for me, it made me so happy. So let me know in the comments which one was your favourite, what did you think of handmade, did you enjoy getting handcrafted postcards? I love it, really do, it's great. Um, I love the history cards as well, so yeah, so I think I did really, really well. Hansel and Gretel. Um, I have one of his books somewhere, um, and yeah, I've got that from about a hundred years ago, this story, in a book that old. So 
Anyway, I'm waffling away, not making much sense because I'm tired, but I really hope you enjoyed my video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the cards, which one was your favourite, how many World Postcard Day postcards have you received so far. I've been able to register quite a few, about four in the last couple of days, and one of mine was, um, only one was registered this morning that I'd gone to America, but the rest of mine were going to um they were going all over. They were going to like India and uh, everywhere. Like normally I get postcards going to Europe, but these were going far and wide, which is brilliant, isn't it? I just have to wait a little bit though for them to be registered. All right then, so that is my video. Do stay well, safe and happy. Until the very next video, do stay well. Oh, and I have got another video I'm going to be doing very soon and it's about some vintage... Um, bargains that i got uh to do with arts and crafts and postal postal side as well and washing and things it's not a big video but i think you'll enjoy it nonetheless okay guys take care bye bye